Good evening, this is uh, Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from the YouTube channel as I continue on my part series of professional sports teams that didn't win the championship during that season, the 2006 San Diego Chargers, and let's get into it. Now, this Chargers team definitely should have won the championship during that season. You know, they were 14-2, they had the best record in the NFL, but they lost at home to New England, play, the New England uh, Patriots, 24-0, excuse me, 24-21 against the New England Patriots. At Qualcomm Stadium, this team was loaded. They had so many Pro Bowlers. It would be Philip Rivers at quarterback, Ladain Ladain Thompson, who was the MVP that year. Had the definitely the best player in the league, and uh, the league set a record for most touchdowns scored. You gotta look at that. Sean Merriman at linebacker, offensive tackle Marcus McNeil, nose tackle Jamal Williams, fullback Lorenzo Neal, Kasim Osgood, tight end Antonio Gates. Um, long slapper David Venn, center Nick Hardwick, and Nick, Nick Kading. Um, yes, Damian Thompson led the league in rushing with 1,815. Um, he set NFL single season records for rushing touchdowns 28 and total touchdowns 31. So he had 31 total touchdowns and 28 rushing touchdowns, which was a NFL season, single season record. So let's look in the playoffs and see what went wrong. With the Chargers, why did they lose to uh, the Patriots? Well, first and foremost, the Chargers trailed three nothing, and then they went up fourteen to ten at halftime. So let's get into it. Patriots facing the San Diego Chargers in the divisional playoff game, where the pa the Patriots beat the Chargers 21 20, 24 21 right? So they were favored the Chargers. They boasted a roster of nine Pro Bowlers, five All Pro players. The MVP running back with Daniel Thompson. So you're a Charger fan, you're thinking, hey, this is our year to win it all. We had shattered several league records. Four turnovers, three of which were converted into Patriots scoring drives, eventually led to the demise of the Chargers. So San Diego ended up losing despite outgaining the Patriots in rushing yards, 148 to 51, and total yards, 352 to 327. Also, they intercepted Tom Brady three times. In the first quarter, after San Diego coach Marty Schottheimer, opted to go for it on 4th and 11 instead of attempting a 47-yard field goal. Quarterback Philip Rivers lost the fumble by being sacked by Mike Vrabel, setting up Stefan Stephen Kaskowski, 51-yard field goal with 40 seconds left in the second quarter, excuse me, in the first quarter. So in the second quarter, the Chargers receiver Eric Parker's 13-yard punt set up a 48-yard scoring drive that ended with Dane Thompson scoring on a two-yard run to make it 7-3. Then on the next drive, Donnie Edwards intercepted the pass from Brady, returned to the 41 yard line. The Chargers ended up punting after Rivers was sacked on third down by defensive back Artel Hawkins. Later in the quarter, Thompson rushed twice for 13 yards, then took a screen pass 58 yards to the Patriots' six yard line, setting up a six yard touchdown run by Michael Turner with 2.04 left in the half. New England responded with a 72 yard scoring drive, where Jabbar Gaffney, the receiver for the Patriots, kept caught four passes for 46 yards, including a seven yard touchdown reception with six seconds left in the half, cutting their deficit to 14 to 10. In the third quarter, Brady threw his second interception of the game. The Chargers were forced to punt after Rivers was sacked on third down. Mike Skeets Cyphers 36-yard punt pinned New England back at their own two-yard line. And San Diego subsequently forced a punt, but when Parker muffed the kick, the New England's David Thomas recovered the fumble at the Chargers' 31-yard line. New England's drive seemed to stall after Brady's fumble on third and 13. Patriots tackle Matt, Matt Light recovered it, and Chargers defensive back Drayton Florence drew a 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for a personal foul. So the drive continued, and Kaskowski eventually kicked the 34-yard field goal to cut the deficit to 14-13. Next, on the drive to San Diego, offensively, linebacker Roosevelt Coven made an interception of Rivers' pass at the New England 36-yard line. Patriots then drove to the Chargers' 41-yard line, but was halted there, had the punt. So, after the punt, Rivers completed two passes to Antonio Gaines for 31 yards, and a 31-yard pass to Vincent Jackson, setting up Thompson's second rushing touchdown to give the Chargers an eight-point lead, 21-13. So, you're a Charger fan. You're looking good. You're feeling good as a Charger fan. Your Chargers are up by eight points. They're doing their thing. But... New England responded by driving to San Diego 41 yard line on a fourth down conversion attempt. Brady's pass was intercepted by Marlon McCree. This is like the turning point of the game because when Marlon McCree 
intercept the pass. Troy Brown stripped the ball and, and Misha Caldwell recovered it. Sean Hyber then called a timeout, challenging the officials' call for interception from by McCree. The charge forfeited the, time, the timeout when the ruling of the play was upheld. So four plays later, Brady threw a four-yard touchdown pass to Caldwell. The next play, running back Kevin Falk took a direct snap, scored a two-point conversion. Now he got a tie ball game. Then after forcing the punt, Brady completed a 19-yard pass to Daniel Grant. Cold, Caldwell caught a 49-yard pass play down the right sideline to set up Eskowski's third field goal which was from 31 yards. And now the Patriots were up on top, 21-21, 24-21, with 1-10 to go in the fourth quarter, with no timeouts left. So San Diego drove to the Patriots' 36-yard line on their final possession. But Nate Cadings, 54-yard field goal, fell short with three seconds left in the game. So, um... And that was a brutal loss. And, uh... Gaffney, for the Patriots, had 10 catches for 103 yards. And touchdown Thompson rushed for 123 yards, two passes for 64 yards, and two touchdowns. So that was a tough time for the Chargers. The Chargers were really good during those uh, mid to late 2000 years. You now they're really competitive. But their best chance to win it all was 2006. When you go 14 and 2, got the league MVP and uh, the Dangman. Uh, Thomason, you know, you you, you should have won that championship. There's no question about it. You, know, you, you have to win a championship of that magnitude in 2006. And uh, they fell short to the Patriots. So, that concludes this uh, video, 2006, San Diego, Diego Chargers. Um, this is part 69, talking about the San Diego Chargers of 2006. So please subscribe, like, comment, do anything to uh, support the channel. This is Rashad Mitchell. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.